Hey everyone, Shane here from freetechtutorials.com and I'm here today bringing you a 12th Java tutorial. In this tutorial today we're going to be talking about the scanner class and how we can use that to get input from our user and how we can use that input in our program. And we'll also be talking about Java imports. So let's start with the Java imports here. So what an import is, and you can kind of see in my program here, this first line um, kind of looks out of the ordinary, we really haven't seen that before. So what this does is it tells Java to bring some code into our program so that we can use it. So at a default level, Java only includes small certain things that are used all the time. Um, it doesn't include all of the tools and capabilities and code that it has for us to use as developers. The analogy I like to use for this is kind of like the kitchen when you're cooking your kitchen counter. Most people on their counter they have simple things like salt and pepper to use when they're cooking. Now sometimes you need to go to a pantry or cupboard to get things like flour, baking soda, or whatever else. And so in Java the import is kind of like going to the pantry and getting code or getting another ingredient basically another tools for us to use so you wouldn't Java doesn't include all of these things in our program just like you wouldn't put all the things from your pantry out on the kitchen counter all the time just because you don't use them all the time and it's just too much clutter so what we can do here is tell Java to import the specific things that we need to use in this program so that's what we've done here so we do that by using the import keyword and then for our example here we're using the scanner class is what we're importing there the code to use a scanner so we just do java.util.scanner and make sure the word scanner has a capital S on there or it might give you an error so like I said the scanner is used to watch for input into our program so that we can use that and get that from our user so now that we have that imported here let's go ahead and use it so to use it the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create um, our own scanner basically from that code. So we start with the keyword scanner, again with capital S. We're going to give it our own scanner a, a unique name, so we'll say my scanner. And we're going to do equals until it's a new scanner. And then in parentheses here, we're going to tell it where we want it to scan for input at. And we're going to say system.in. So we've told Java, okay, create this new scanner, name it my scanner and keep an eye on our system input because that's where you should be scanning for things that our user enters so that we can use it in our program. Alright, so whenever you get input from your user there's always a prompt. You know, usually you need to ask them a question. You know, ask them to enter a name or a number or something like that. So let's go ahead and create our prompt. And we do that just by doing a simple output statement that we've been doing in all of our programs. So system.out.println and let's say ask them what is your name All right, and then now what we have to do is we have to tell the scanner okay right after this you should really be watching close because we're going to um, expect some input next and we have to tell Java where do we want to store whatever our user inputs are in our system we have to create a variable so if we're asking them to put in a name then we know it's going to be a type string so let's create a string variable String to user name equals my scanner dot next. So that's the key there is my scanner dot next. We're telling our scanner, which we've named my scanner, watch for the next thing that our user inputs, and when they've input that, store it in this username variable. All right. So let's go ahead and try this out, and let's see what we've got so far. Alright, so we've got our prompt there, what is your name, and we can do is we can just click right here and we can enter in whatever we want. So I'm just going to use my name here, Shane, and hit enter. Now our program doesn't do anything else because we really haven't told it to yet. All we've done is we've created our scanner, we've put a prompt out to our user asking their name, and we've stored the name in this variable, but we haven't done anything with it. So let's go ahead and do something else and let's just put a message back out after they enter their name. So we'll do system.out print line and let's see what do we want to say to them how about just a hello message we'll do hello and we'll add our variable in here which we've called username and let's do nice to meet you alright so 
if this works here we should get is hello then whatever our, our name is nice to meet you so let's try it real quick so it's asking for the name again hit enter perfect there we go nope I missed a T so I'll add that in um, what if we want to use or get a integer or a number from our user what does that look like well it's pretty close to the same process here so let's do that let's go ahead and um, ask our user for a number so we'll just ask them for their age so we'll do another prompt here say please enter your age and then we have to tell again the system watch out for the next thing our our, our user puts in but this time we're going to make it in a number so let's do int we're going to create that variable we'll say user age will be the name of our variable equal to my scanner dot next and you actually want to use next int this time so we're actually telling Java that we're watching for a number when we just do next it says it doesn't care really what it puts in watch for the next thing but this time since we're using a number and we might want to actually do some calculations or something with it we want it to be an integer that it puts in and we're storing that in this user age integer variable all right, so let's go ahead and run that and see how that looks. All right, so we got our name again. And then it says, hello, nice to meet you. And then it's asking us to enter age. We'll do that. And there we go, everything looks pretty good so far. So let's go ahead and um, put, just clean this up a little bit. We'll put a colon there. And then let's do something with the age as well. Let's put that back out to the user as the variable make sure that we're actually getting what's being put in. So let's do a print line here. Let's say you are put the user age in there. Years old. Alright, so what we've got now all together, just to recap real quick, we've created our scanner we've got it asking what our age is, it's watching for the next input it takes the username or the age, or I'm sorry, it's asking what the name is it takes the name that we have stored here and we put it back out to our user, says hello whatever your name is, nice to meet you and then we also ask for their age we store it in our user age variable once they enter it in and we say you are whatever their age is, years old so let's run it one last time here and let's see if that works alright, so what's your name and says hello Shane nice to meet you please enter your age so 29 enter so you're 29 years old perfect works just the way we want it so I, that's pretty much it for this tutorial I hope this made sense to you guys the scanner functionality is awesome it's really nice to be able to start practicing um, and getting some input and interactivity with your program to kind of see how all this is going to work now I understand that this isn't how when you get done with the program you're going to get input from your user because we're just using it inside Eclipse here. Um, later on down the, low, down the line we'll do some interface development where you can have like pop-up boxes and things like that come out for your user to input their information. But for now just using the output area down here to put it in really helps you get an idea of how this works and uh, how you can start using that information that your user puts in. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did and I will catch you guys next time.